Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Uh, so this is the quad 606, the kit from AliExpress. I will stick a link at the end of the video if you want to see the unboxing and the details on this. Uh, this is it built up as you can see. Pretty straightforward, you know, to all the small pieces first and all that. And don't stick these two resistors in until you get this inductor in. <laughs> because uh, as you can see, there's not a lot of room and you can cause yourself a bit of a bit of a pain doing it. But uh, it's, it's slightly off on mine just because I'm not very good with uh, it, it. I wanted this to be level and it would have been slightly over to the one side. But anyway, who cares about that? What do you want to know? You want to know what it sounds like? I like it. I like it. Um... It does have a bit of a richer sound. I don't know, you know, I, when I was listening to it, I just thought it was like velvety. I, it, weird, you know, this is me trying to explain and I don't know what the technical terms would be. Well, you can't really put it into technical terms because this is the thing. The sound thing is so subjective to what I like to listen to. I liked it in a way because it seemed like at a lower volume it gave me a bit more punch on the bass yeah um, now that's probably not very helpful to some and could be helpful to others I'd say that this um, is a great one for TV connecting your TV to because it will help get out or the yeah. It, it just sounded like I liked it. I liked it. I listened to my music. My music seemed fresh and nice, and that you know I do like. I do like that sort of thing when it comes to an amplifier. And don't get me wrong, I use the L12-2, and I think that's great as well. Whoever buys one of those will not be disappointed. Um, this, if you're gonna be running this, you need a bigger heatsink. Even two of these. Uh, is there another one here? Oh, uh, I wonder I can get my hands on easily, that is. Oh, hold on. So this is, uh, you know, just one of these. And I've just jammed two of them together to give it more mass. And um, But even that, I mean, if you're running it at not completely full belt, uh, you should be okay. But they say you go for 500 grams of uh, heat sinking in the big end. I could just... Put this on here. You can see that. And we'll put that there. And that's 300 grams. There you go. So not really big enough. But for what I was doing, um, it's it's fine. So yeah, the sound of it's okay. Yeah, it does sound nice. Doesn't sound it doesn't sound dodgy at all. Um, and uh, and I was pleasantly. Uh, surprised or I'm well, not so surprised I mean but it's yeah it's a pleasant enough sound I do like it I do like it if you bought one of these when you think one of these is 10 pounds that's probably about 11 or 12 dollars uh, for this entire thing like this and these um, it's not bad at all not bad at all so that's it my conclusion is yep yeah, if you I give it a thumbs up just because um, for me I like the sound of it with my big old speakers there, you know, and the bass came out nice and everything sounded nice. It just does sound nice. So, okay, let's have a look at the um, the numbers and the test results. Okay, so first of all, this is the, the setup. This is our transformer. We've got a, what is it, 0, 030, 0, 030, which gives us 42 volts DC or around there, which you come through the rectifier. Capacitor bank with a positive output, a negative output, and our virtual ground output. That's connected into the ground here, which also connects um, to our speaker output, which will be this part of the dummy load, and also to our negative on our on our probe here, which is then going into the back of the sound card on the computer. Positive output to the side of the dummy load, positive part of probe, and our uh, VCC and VE there, positive and negative. And that's it, that's that's all that's there. This is just uh, on there, because that would be the other channel if we were connecting up another channel or not. We're just doing this like this. So, 
let's just set this down and look at the look at the screen. Oh, I forgot to mention that we are using this connected block unit for our transformer. We're about to power this on. Now everything should be okay, <laughs> but you never know. <laughs> So let's have a little look. We're gonna hit this on here, and there we go. Let's just put this into. Um, we're gonna go up on there. All right. So this is our uh, like our noise floor. What have we got? You see some 50 hertz in there. Well, below the 100 low. Nothing to worry about. A few little bits. Let's start putting this up. All right. Now that's at minus 32. Let's just take it to 20 because this is where this is where um, stack exchange audio suggests that's um, a good place really because uh, you wouldn't normally be running at full board. And I agree, you wouldn't. I certainly wouldn't. And um, an actual fact, a lower listening. Be better. So the THD we got there is 0 0.002829 and THD in noise is 0 0.0094. Very respectable. Very respectable. And let's go down to 10. So now this is pumping it a bit. Um, and here we've got the 0 0.1, uh, 0 0.015, 0. 016 for the noise included. Um, again, I mean, this looks like it's something there particularly, doesn't it? But it's not. It's so low down. This is like 90 dB down. Let me just click on the highest peak for a moment. And there we have, if I just knock that back actually, to that's the closest, minus 89. That's uh, very good. Let's see what happens when we go full board. You've got to remember that these amplifiers were not designed for that. Not designed. And so we are at minus 6, minus 2.8. That's 0 0.37, 0 0.38. I'm going to turn that off. In actual fact, let's just go back there again. Uh, we're just going to put that on there. Uh, like I said, you, this, they're not designed for it. They are not designed to be run at full blast. And in actual fact, this is slightly over full blast. Um, from the calibration. And, uh, yeah, that, that's not how you'd be running it. You'd have it a lot lower than that. And I think, personally, if you sat between 10 and um, 20, that's going to be running it. Pretty darn high. Let's go to 15, shall we? Uh, 14, that'll do. Um, that's going to be running it pretty high, and it's still very respectable. THD 0.0046, THD noise 0 0.075. See, so yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that. And like I say, I've already listened to this, and I'm very happy with it. Um, if anything's going to be subjective to me now, it's what I read in these outputs, and I've seen a lot worse than this. Uh, let's have a look at the frequency response. There we go. I could probably drop that down slightly. Mm. Just to see. Just to see. Yeah, darn it. So what we can actually say from there, though, is because we could do with adding some now to this uh, 0.3 there. So minus 3 dB is there. So really, we've got the difference here. We'll take it from 1K and look at the difference there. This is very sort of um, zoomed in. Normally, you'd have a plus 3 here and minus 3 here. And I just can't be able to fiddle around with this anymore. So we're just going to measure it like this. So we've got 0 0.74 dB. All right, but we're not going to, we're just looking at that as our base in the middle of our measurement. And then we'll go to the 100K here. And uh, 0 0.76, 0 0.74 there, 
let's go to 30k and if we just chuck uh, that there and this oh come here my thumb stay still go there to the 10 um we have what seven six here seven four and now here we're at eight seven so it's yeah it's not in anywhere near one db difference on it and if we go to the 20 remember this is a uh, 0.5 db this would be one db this space here is zero to one db and this is we're measuring between the 0.5 so it's, it's you know it's less than a, a quarter um, of a db at 20 hertz which is really nice that, that's really nice it doesn't matter after that because we're not going to be hearing it anyway and up here you know we've uh we're doing good up there as well because it was seven six and we're at seven two there so yeah that's uh that's good that is good